So API Gateway is one of those services that you can't really get away from as you start on your cloud journey. It really is just one of those cornerstone things that everybody goes through. Now, the core principle of it is building out what's known as a three-tiered application where you have API Gateway with a Lambda function, and then it's persisted inside of a database, something like DynamoDB. In this series, we're gonna go ahead and dive into how to build all of that, but also from the perspective of a full stack application. So we're gonna have Next.js on the front end, CDK on the back end, infrastructure and TypeScript all around. Let's dive in, let's have some fun. Come on, Focus Otters, let's get started. Okay, as I mentioned, this is pretty much what's known as a three-tiered application. So not so much Next.js and Amplify, we'll get to that when the time comes. But as of right now, we have API Gateway, which is basically, hey, what's the thing that's going to be intercepting the incoming requests? And then we have these Lambda functions here, which are going to be processing the request and dictating where is this data going? How is it getting there, et cetera. Now, in a typical fully fledged application, you can go crazy with this if you wanted to, but I figured we would do the core services here. We have create, read, update, delete, and list. All of these are going to be stored into a DynamoDB table. Also that we can generate and persist book data. I've been reading a lot lately on Audible. Now in this video, we're gonna be diving into how do we set up this project? And then in subsequent videos, we'll be actually creating the routes themselves. Okay, so over in my terminal, I'm gonna create uh, my directory. This is gonna be my books API, full stack. So let's say make directory is gonna be a full stack books API. And I'm just gonna say CDK so that I remember down the road. We're gonna CD into that directory there. And then from here, Let's go ahead and get our front end set up first. And I'll show you why I'm doing it this way, but using create next app, the latest version, and then it's going to be in this directory, but I'm going to say dash no hyphen app. I know at the time of this recording, app directory is all the latest hype. I'm just not up to speed on it. And I hear a lot of issues going on with it currently. So I'm going to defer and then we can always come back later on and bring this in and up to speed with the app directory, but we're using pages directory for this project. It's gonna go ahead and do its thing, clear that out. Let's make sure all of our files are there, great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create my backend directory. There we go, let's CD into that as well. Quick trick, dollar sign underscore, awesome. Now from here, take scaffold out a CDK application, I can say MPX AWS CDK, I'm gonna say at latest as well. In it. And then the language that we're going to be using is TypeScript. Awesome. We'll get that set up in there. Time in this recording, we're working with 2.95.1. And this will put everything inside of this backend directory. Now we'll open this up in VS Code once it gets all taken care of. We can see what we're working with here in terms of the files that got created and what our eventual folder structure looks like. Awesome. You can see here we have our typical Next.js app on the front end. And then on the back end, we have our CDK application with our back end stack. Nothing too crazy going on here. Over in our bin directory, we just have our actual, like, how are you going to be deploying this thing? So now we set ourselves up so that in subsequent versions of this series, we can add in those individual routes until we have all five completed. I think what you'll find is that it doesn't take too long and it's actually pretty easy. So I know this was a quick one. I just wanted to get it out of the way so we didn't have to worry about project setup in subsequent videos. In later editions, we are going to piece this together for our fully fledged books API with Next.js on the front end. My name is Michael Leandro, aka Focus Otter, and until then, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.